Hi guys, so in today's video, we are going to take a look at Resurrection Remix for the U Euphoria. I don't know which way version it is, but I guess it is 5.6.7. Let's just keep it on lowest. It's pretty bright. I don't know why this screen is very bright, but it's kind of cool. Like it just uh, performs better than this Galaxy S4 in the direct sunlight, which is good for me. But initially, it branches very very fast. Comes with a stock like kernel, but it looks very like fast and good. Also, I applied the U Euphoria stock theme, so I have got that name. It does not stock. As you can see, it's very fast. Like every other ROM is very fast on this thing. As you can see, clean all button over there. Also, the stock snaps camera working pretty fine. Look at my helmet. <laughs> it's just pretty messy. But the camera doesn't perform very good on this ROM. I don't know why. Like stock builds of the Cyanogen Mode 13 perform a bit better. But as you can see, no lags at all. But especially in some scenarios, like its uh, processor just gives up. As you can see, stock lol, uh, like stock Euphoria theme. But that's not the case, as you can see. Theme chooser. And main thing, the configurations of the Resurrection Remix. It will be pretty hard to see this black background. Let me just change the thing. I like the navigation bar. Like it looks cool. It just blends in with the bottom part of the euphoria. And now it will be pretty easy to see. Let me just bring it a bit closer. Okay. Status bar. Pretty nice things. We can like double tap to sleep. You can use a 4G symbol instead of like LT. Same for the 3G. Breeding notifications. Much much like a resurrection logo. Okay, just the logo. Nothing else. It's kind of lame. But the developer has to install that. <laughs> Clock customizations. Let's just go to the notification drawer. Force expand. Okay like the it's like bunch of uh, exposure modules like making a bit transparent as you can see you can select the opacity from here as you can see it has become like very transparent ish and it becomes a bit like transport for the next reboot miscellaneous options i don't know how you can select it from the what you say settings without replacing the kernel but pretty good the sdks are becoming like stronger camera shutter sound i don't like that thank god favorite option this time system ui weather yeah i'll do it later on multi window mod it looks a bit rethemed let's just check it out i'm not check it out like since a month Looks pretty good. We are finally having it on Android N. We just disable that. I don't know why it still remains. Nope. <laughs> what just happened? Nope. Crap. Let's just relaunch that. That's why they didn't introduce. They should like uh, took the help of the Samsung developers. They are like doing it from 2012. Pretty good developers of course. Pretty standard stuff over here. Power menu and other things like playback control through volume keys. And it comes like a bit uh, pretty handy from the layout as it looks like a bit Walkman. Lock screen are uh, my favorite option. Let me show you. Lock screen UI. Lock screen blur. I keep it a lot. I just love it. Lock screen media UI basic stuff nothing else recent same you can like omni switch or slim recent let me just show you slim recents okay app sidebar I don't want that but uh okay yeah it's working as you can see you pretty much get a uh, app layout over here rather than getting one like 3d one as you can see Pretty cool. Then we have the Omni 
सॉरी ओमनी स्विच यू टू एनेबल लाइक इट ट्वाइस एंड यू कैन सी यू कैन लाइक गेट प्रिटीज ऑप्शन लाइक एप ड्रॉ फ्रॉम डिरेक्टली फ्रॉम द एप कम्स प्रिटी हैंडी इट्स ओनली फॉर फॉर द गेग्स ऑल्सो सिस्टम स्टोरेज आई डोंट नो सिस्टम स्टोरेज वन जी बी वॉट्स दैट आई हेव टू जी बी रैम ओके वन जी बी इज फ्री वन पॉइंट एट जी बी रैम इज लाइक हॉरिजोंटल आई डोंट नो वाई एनिमेट ओके दे इज लाइक अ स्लाइड अ बिट ऑफ एनिमेशन मैं मध्य आई लाइक यू लव द स्टॉक वन सॉरी इफ आई साउंड अ बिट लेम आई जस्ट रियली टायर्ड इट्स समर ऑफकोर्स आई फील ले लॉट Navba pulse. Yes, I do. I use it a lot. I like it turn on the lava lamp, but it just doesn't like. I have not seen it. Uh, audio visualization. I just check it out. I have not seen it at all. Music app. Okay, there it is. Turn off it for some copyright issues. It never glows up. I don't know why. Okay. Now it's working. Pretty cool. It also like turns the colors. Also, the sound is pretty loud on this ROM. Like compared to the uh, louder mods for the Galaxy S4, it's very very loud. Also, uh, games run pretty shit. I don't know like. Why this uh, Euphoria has or mine only has a like crappy performance compared to the Granite Prime. Both share the same specs, but this has a 2 GB RAM and 720 p display. Not much of a difference, but it is. As you can see, clock. Like this uh, app opening times are very very impressive. Also, this like body construction and the stock Android blends in. Like I never enjoyed the stock Android or Cyanogen mode builds for the Samsung devices, so I purchased this one, and I'm quite satisfied for the price I paid for it. As you can see, performance can be like adjusted through the kernel auditor over here. Pretty good integration. Super SU. Okay, that must be there. So you no need to like enable the root from the developer options. That's pretty much it. So guys thanks for <laughs> watching my video on uh, the review of Resurrection Remix version 5.6.7 hope you guys enjoyed also subscribe to the channel for more euphoria videos and peace